It's so cool to think. These pieces of jewelry were made from explosives, the remnants of the secret war in Laos more than 40 years ago. During the Vietnam War, the United States bombarded central Laos with bombs to disrupt supply routes used by North Vietnamese troops. More than 10 years ago, Elizabeth Suda visited Laos and saw residents melting explosives such as bombs and mines and transforming them into spoons. She was inspired and subsequently founded a company called Article 22. I went to Laos after having a short career in the fashion industry here in New York and I became very interested in how fashion could be more sustainable. I saw how much money people spent to look good, but I thought, well, what if what if that fashion did good too? Article 22 works with dozens of silver and metal artisans in Laos to craft various types of jewelry such as bracelets, necklaces, rings, and earrings. They also work with the Mines Advisory Group, an organization that cleans unexploded ordinance all over the world, including Laos, that could harm local residents. Of the hundreds of millions of bombs dropped on Laos, there are about 80 million that never exploded, spread over an area of land as large as Houston, Texas. The more bracelets that are sold, the more we raise awareness and funds for Mines Advisory Group to clear more of those 80 million unexploded bombs. Article 22 routinely participates in exhibitions such as this one that combines art and social activism, and in pop-up markets that sell products with social and environmental innovations. This way, they're able to explain the history behind the jewelry that they offer. You know, so little people actually knew where, where about, um, you know, the secret war, and there was a lot that we had to do in terms of, like, bringing awareness towards the history as a start, beyond the simple fact that we were, you know, selling jewelry that was made from bombs so that we had like challenging themes to talk about. Their tagline, buying back the bombs, illustrate their concept of clearing out bombs the U.S. had once dropped on Laos. Yes, so uh, take a look, it's a beautiful bracelet, right? And it has the word peace inscribed in different languages, right? For every $155 Article 22 sells, they donate funds to clear three square meters of land in Laos from bombs and other explosives. From New York, Valdia Baraputri and Oliver Pross, VOA.